Hey guys, what's up? Back here, and hopefully you can hear me. It uh, looks like you can. So here's the, uh, I got a 5 volt one of these over at Marvac, like a local electronics store here locally. My kid back there. Um, but this is the original part right now, number right here, and these things are they're impossible to find. I can only find one source, and that was over in China. And uh, But they actually make uh, a couple different cross cross references for this thing. Um, I was able to actually find some, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show you closer, but some Omrom, the same manufacturer, sorry, sorry I have a cold right now. Um, so almost nearly identical specs. So um, th this is the uh, the newer one product right here, but the, the specs are almost identical. The only difference I, I can see is the coil is a little bit different, but the contact points are both one amp and the ratings are kind of the same. Or pretty much exactly the same, one amp, you know, the contact ratings. You know, same material, same exact everything. Just one is see-through and the other one's not. But also, uh, NTE semi Semiconductor, National, I forgot the name of their name, but... NTE also makes one too, but I'll put a little parts number in the description of the video. And, uh... I'll put this thing back together, so on my antenna switch, hopefully again. We'll see. Alright. All right, guys. Hopefully, you can see what I'm seeing here. Here's the new thing of relays I got. Uh, pull off. Shit. All right, let's pull up. Don't mess up the leads. So I got extras. Actually, the guy sold a pack of five. So I mean, normally I just would have bought a couple. He has a spare. So if any of you guys have a radio, you know, let me know. Hit me up. <laughs> Got four extras, well, at least for now. We'll see if this thing pops. So, yeah, one thing I did, this thing is actually rated at 12 volts. But this thing is supplying 13.6 volts. So, let's, let's see, you can see that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Pop that relay in there. Make sure the leads are straight. There we go. There we go. These are through. And we heated my sorry iron. I'll be back. Put this thing on there. Cool. Alright guys, let's get some solder on this thing here. Alright. These little leads here and there. Cool. Oh shit. Gotta make sure those don't touch. Okay, I'll, I'll do a continuity test for that one. Make sure it's not having issues with that. I'll heat up that hole. This is a hot side iron here. Kind of sick right now. Good, 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 good penetration. Okay, two more, and I can put this thing back together. Okay. okay. All right, well, looking good. So, I'm going to do a continuity test between these two right here to make sure there's no contact. Oh, oh, there's not. I can, I can see with my magnifying glass. Okay, so, um, put this board back in there. Actually, I gotta put the shield back on. And uh, I'll get this pop back on and we'll do a quick test. Alright, guys, gotta put these antenna connectors back on. Uh, there should be two here. So, and look at these. Yeah, they went down like that. So I first need to screw this back on. Get in there. Yeah, it's got some of those. That's a weird setup how they had the connectors in there. Yep. Let's screw this back in. <sighs> Where are the screws? Alright, so where did my Phillips go? Like this. Right. 
right, so I'll get that going. Come back. All right, guys, just got to solder this. I guess I don't need to show you all these steps, but some people like actually watch watch all the stuff, but not everybody. I got to solder those connectors. It's a weird setup. They have like a re like a resistor, and it just they don't actually solder right on there. It's like I have to put like a patch through there. It's weird. So hopefully you can see that. But yeah, I get that going right now. Come back, and then I can test. All right, guys, just. Uh, had some weird issue with my mic. I don't know if it was just my settings or what, but I made another video about that. Uh, it was it giving me some weird readings with my uh, tennis switch setup here, so it was throwing me off. I thought there was something wrong with it, but I don't think it was. So let me show you what's up. So that's the, uh, I have my wire connected to it, my SWR meter, watt meter, cheapo one. And then um, that's the relay I replaced right there. And I'm in antenna one right now. That's what that means right there, antenna one. If you can see that, there you go, antenna one. Okay, so let's do an audio test. Audio, audio, antenna one. All right, yeah, I have a cold right now, so it's not feeling so good to do that. So let me uh, switch over to antenna two. That's, what's weird is the, the, the mic, the, the whole, your, all your signalings go. All your tr your transmission is actually going through that one relay. So, all right. So let's switch over to two antenna two. I'm trying to get in a way we can see this antenna two. And let's do an audio test. Audio on antenna two. So both the antennas work again. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. Cool. Got my antenna switch working again. So awesome, awesome. Yeah, so if you guys, uh, anybody else having that issue, I'll put down the part numbers in the description of what I, what I did to fix this. Um, where I have the extra, I have four extra relays, so if any of you guys um, need some, let me know, hit me up. But these were the actual, the original one was a, like a see-through one like that. And this is the exact, almost the exact same specs. This is actually uh, made by the same manufacturer, let's see here, the Omron. But then I also have an NTE coming in too as well, but... I didn't know. I was just trying to get something that would work. So, um, cool. Got my antenna switch working again. Audio antenna two audio. All right. All right, guys. Cool. Awesome.